Listeners, uh, I would like to say thank you for this opportunity to present my work, names uh, studies on laser sh shock pinning uh, with different absorbing coating. Okay. Oh, well, it's, it's fine. And oh, okay. Uh, laser shock pinning is a method of surface treatment of metals uh, based on the creation of compressive residual stresses in the near surface layer of the material. These uh, deep stresses, uh, which can be up to two millimeters uh, thick, uh, depending on the material. Uh, improve uh, fatigue properties, corrosion resistance, uh, thereby uh, increasing uh, self life of the machine parts. Uh, during <clears throat> during pinning, uh, hardening is achieved by the interaction of the laser radiation with the substance. Uh, the scheme of this method you can see on the screen, uh, it's fissure one. Uh, to protect uh, the surface of the material from the direct exposure to laser radiation, the special coating was used. Uh, it's, uh, it's called uh, absorbing, absorbing layer or uh, protective layer. Uh, in addition, uh, uh, the confining layer um, can be applied to uh, increase uh, uh, the plasma expanding plasma uh, by um, by restraining uh, its hydrodynamic uh, dissipation. Uh, this technique has many different parameters uh, which can affect uh, its efficiency. And in this work, uh, one of them, which belongs. Uh, to the group of uh, process design uh, was investigated. It's a material of uh, laser uh, of pro protective or co absorbing coating materials. Uh, as it's clear from the name of this layer, uh, this coating uh, fulfills two important functions: uh, protection the surface of the material from damage and uh, absorption uh, energy. Based on this, uh, there are two types of laser shock pinning in the literature, uh, thermomechanical uh, laser shock pinning and uh, mechanical. Thermomechanical, it is laser shock pinning without uh, protective coating and mechanical with protective coating. In the first case, uh, plasma is generated by ionization um, surface of the material. Uh, the, uh, the affected zone or the affected heat zone uh, is typically uh, a few is typically a few uh, microns near the surface of uh, so near the surface which can uh, which was uh, treated. Uh, uh, with this method of treatment, uh, thermomechanical treatment, uh, the temperature can reach uh, to 20,000 uh, kelvins within a few microseconds, and the resulting uh, heat, uh, thermal effect uh, occurs uh, Usually, occurs uh, a few. Uh, uh, usually, occurs uh, first 50 uh, microns resulting the tensile stresses uh, in these depths. These stresses uh, can uh, negatively affect it, uh, to the property uh, to the final properties of the parts which we uh, hardened. Uh, and also uh, the absence of this uh, coating uh, uh, Oh, sorry, uh, the, the absence of this coating leads to a significant uh, roughness, significant increase of roughness, uh, which, uh, uh, with, uh, which in case uh, of uh, treating, for example, blades, uh, will uh, acquire will acquire uh, an, ad an additional uh, processing 
which is not providing for such parts. Uh, on the basis on this, uh, it is advisable to use protective coating during laser shock pinning uh, to avoid uh, thermal effect on the material. Uh, therefore, the main uh, purpose of this work is uh, investigate uh, the influence of uh, different protective coating materials uh, on uh, laser shock pinning efficiency. Uh, the research uh, of this work was, concluded, uh, was uh, conducted uh, at the basis of Institute of Continuous Media Mechanics in Russia, Perm City, where uh, a complete complex for realization laser shock pinning uh, was created. It includes uh, solid-state pulsed uh, uh, laser beam tech uh, with uh, energy in pulse up to... Uh, 10, uh, up to uh, 9 joules. Uh, optical systems, uh, which, uh, which makes it possible to focus laser beam uh, into a square with a site of 1 or 3 millimeters, and as well as into a circle with a diameter of 2 millimeters. Uh, a robot manipulator uh, step with a load capacity up to five uh, up to 50 kilograms and automated systems for measuring residual stress by whole drilling method uh, MTS 3000 Tristan and micro hardness was measured by uh, using uh, metal up 502 uh, micro hardness tester a little bit more about uh, whole drilling method uh, the, the essence of this method uh, is uh, um, is uh, is <laughs> we uh, installed uh, the strain gauge with uh, three uh, measurement uh, grids on the surface of the material. Then, uh, at the center of this uh, gauge, uh, the hole with a diameter of two millimeters is uh, drilled. Uh, drilling uh, was uh, drilling is carried out uh, step by step, and at the end of each step, uh, the value of the deformation arising uh, arising from the removal of compressive residual stresses is recorded. Are recorded. Then, um, based on the data obtained, we uh, we we are solving uh, inverse problem uh, yeah, and uh, receiving uh, profiles of uh, compressive residual stresses. All measurements are performed uh, in addition in accordance uh, with the international standard ISTM eight hundred thirty seven. And uh, about uh, inter about experimental conditions, uh, the samples made uh, were made uh, e from titanium alloy sixty four, and represents uh, represent uh, thin square plates uh, with a side of uh, fifty millimeters and thick uh, three millimeters, thick of three millimeters. Uh, you can see the processing parameters on the screen. Um, I will only uh, can uh, mention here that we have uh, uh, we have uh, chosen the power density based on our exper experience uh, with this titanium alloy. In our opinion, uh, 10 gigawatt per centimeter square is the uh, optimum uh, value for uh, for this material, which uh, which the increase. Uh, uh, with the increase of which uh, we we didn't see um, a significant increase uh, in the effect of laser shock pinning. Uh, what else? Uh, the sample was treated uh, on, one, on on just one uh, side of the sample was tre was treated, and uh, the material uh, which were used uh, used for protective coating uh, are were uh, aluminum foil, black tape, and uh, black paint. Okay. 
This slide uh, presents uh, results of this experiment. Figure 12 uh, shows the residual stress profiles for different uh, protective coating materials. Uh, the specimen coat, coated with uh, black paint uh, showed uh, the highest value of uh, compressive residual stresses, uh, about minus 400 megapascals. And uh, the highest value of hardened layer depths uh, was achieved uh, with, in case uh, with uh, treatment with aluminum foil. Um, if we compare the depths of compressive residual stresses, uh, it, it is worth nothing that all uh, mods, exception aluminum foil, uh, give uh, similar results. What is the maximum value of the stress are significant different. And as for micro hardness, uh, we can say that the effect uh, of all four mods was, but uh, it was insignificant. Um, this slide uh, presents uh, calculations uh, confirming the previous uh, stated results concerning uh, residual stresses. Based on the impedance of the coating material and uh, water, which were which was used uh, as a confining layer, uh, the the pressure exerted by the plasma on the surface was calculated uh, using uh, the formula one. Uh, from the results obtained, it can be uh, concluded that uh, the most effective uh, material uh, for protective coating were uh, black paint and uh, aluminum, aluminum foil. Uh, in addition, the evaluation of, uh, of the transmitted energy uh, was carried out, uh, which showed that when we use aluminum foil uh, or black paint, uh, about 10% 10 uh, uh, of energy is lost at the boundary between uh, coating and samples. And when we use uh, black tape, uh, we lost uh, about 30%. It's too much, I think. And uh, this slide presents the main conclusion that have been uh, drawn as a result of this work. Uh, here, I would like to say that uh, I would like to say the following. Uh, this is uh, pretty simple but useful work for understanding uh, laser shock pinning processing. Uh, we realized that uh, uh, three all three coatings uh, we stood uh, the laser shock pinning with optimal, uh, in our opinion, uh, power density. Uh, and uh, they uh, can be uh, can uh, can be used for treatment, but we need to understand exactly what we want to treat. If we are uh, if we are talking about uh, parts with uh, thick, uh, it's important thick uh, parts with uh, simple geometry. Uh, it is easier to use aluminum foil because uh, we can uh, just glue it on the surface and that's all. Uh, but if we have uh, parts with uh, complex geometry, it is difficult to just glue the foil on. And uh, it's advisable to use uh, black paint. But if uh, we want to uh, Pin, 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 pin to, for example, blades, blade edges. So it's uh, pretty thin uh, parts. We need to use uh, tape, uh, which will allow processing uh, without causing uh, serious deformation uh, of this part. And I would uh, also like to point out that this is the only small part of a large uh, work on study of study on laser shock pinning, and there are many uh, different uh, 
kind of studies on this method of hardening uh, ahead of us. Uh, thank, thank you, you for your attention.